Good morning, my little schmetterlings. Uh, today, we're going to put a little video out. We're going to start doing a Faction War series, and it's going to be called No Legendaries Required. And I'm going to show you how to do each stage 21 without legendaries in each faction, okay? So today we're going to do High Elves, all right? And as you can see, I have gotten rid of, essentially, my High Elf faction, which does it in like 50 seconds or less usually around 25 but today we're gonna have three rares and two epics okay one of the rares is a void but she's really obtainable because she is a rare void and when you open void shards most likely you're gonna get a rare okay so let's just kinda show you everybody in the team we got Elhane, Apothecary, Reliquary Tender, Tyrell, and Royal Guard okay now this isn't going to be full auto, we're going to do it, you can do it full auto. I have a lot of faith in this team that can do it full auto, but we're going to do this manual, okay? Soon as it starts. Connection here, let's try that again. I don't think we're under maintenance right now. Oh, that's why. Whoops. Just a second. I hit the wrong one. I want do not disturb. There we go. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. Take it off auto. So, boom, give everybody increased speed. Let's just go ahead and hit people with some decreased speed there. Decreased defense. Reliquary Tender really doesn't need to do anything. Attack all enemies two times. Boom, boom. She is in a stun set, by the way. And we'll go over the sets and everything when we're done. Oh, we got lucky. Nice. Oh, I completely forgot about Broadmaw. Jeez. Oh, gotta get him. Okay. Hit you. Now, the person that is really scary here, right there, is um, Torture Helm. He hits really fucking hard. Ooh, oh, yep, see, he got somebody. But, to three-star this... That's why you bring revivers, and there are pretty much revivers in every rarity of every faction now. It's actually crazy. So, boom. Oops, that was the wrong one. I thought that was the right one. All right, just a second. Boop, boop. Okay. Good. Bring her back. Heal. Big heal. Okay. Get rid of you. And then you just A1 until all the abilities are off cooldown and you kill everybody. And then you pretty much, you are reset for wave 2. Okay? Again, increase turn meter, increase speed. Let's give some people, there you go, decrease speed. And let's give some decreased defense here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's see if we get some stuns. One stun. Steel Skull. Okay. That's big, a big drop there. Boom. Let's really, we need to control the man eater because we don't want everybody getting unkillable. Alright, we're not worried about that. Bam, bam. Let's just keep hitting. Let's just keep getting in there. Good, he's gone. They have no revivers on this team. Let's cleanse. Wonderful. Beautiful. Boom. Pow. And then we just get we just start you know cleaning up on the second wave here. It's A1 for everything. Boom. Okay. And the final boss is actually very easy. I say that, but then people are like, wow, what the heck? No, it's not. Well, let's try it. Let's do increased speed on everybody. Okay. Let's just put a decreased defense. Nope, didn't land. That sucks. Let's do this. Don't do anything with her. Okay, let's get some stuns, can we? No stuns, that's fine. Okay, there's some fears out there, that's fine. Try that, nope. Okay, try that, nope. Let's cleanse. Oh, we got a stun there. Okay. 
Let's put a decrease attack on him. Wonderful. Okay. Now, honestly, I can just hit auto, and this will go by itself, no problem, and we'll be able to take this down. Okay. Pow. Let's get in there. Boom. Decrease defense. Wonderful. Now you really don't need to worry about the ads. They're just going to give increased speed and increased defense. But it's nothing to really be worried about at all. But slowly but surely we're going to get through this. Okay, let's cleanse. The big thing with the boss is the boss places freeze and fear. But this is where Royal Guard really shines, though, because he does damage based on enemy max HP, and that's what's going to speed your run up if you're doing stage 21 for CVC. Obviously, you're not, once you do this, you don't have to go back to it at all unless it's clan versus clan. That way, you get the extra points. You'll farm stage 20 because stage 20 has the same drop rate percentage as stage 21 for, uh, for all the. Um, for all the glyphs. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a stutter here. But we're just going to hit auto and we're going to let her roll. Okay. Okay, not too much longer. Yeah, the freeze really and the fear put a damper on this. Uh, trying to do this in a speedy manner, but it is what it is. Now you can essentially swap out El Hain for another epic. Like if you have two royal guards that are built up, I would honestly do that. That would speed the run up by a lot. But again, like I said, you're only going to do this once and then farm stage 20 until you have CVC, and then you're going to go back to stage 21 just to get those extra points for CVC. But let's just kind of go over everybody here. As you can see, I have Tayrell in a lifesteal set and some odd protection pieces. Okay. Accuracy. Masteries are as follows. Let's move this. Skills. I have my commanding presence because I really didn't know what else to give him because I don't use him anymore. He is amazing, but again, I don't use him. This Royal Guard is built for Hydra, as you can see. Boom. Boom. El Hain, like I said, she's in a stun set and two odd pieces. No masteries. She doesn't need them. But, again, if you want to speed the run up, give her some masteries. Apothecary. He's very fast. He's the fastest on the team. Um, this isn't as fast as you can get him. He can be a lot faster. Got him on Phantom Touch. And then I have him going down here to Unshakable. I'm going to do a no legendary uh, Hard Doom Tower runs at some point just to prove that it can be done. Uh, other content creators have already proved it can be done, but I'll put it out for content for the channel. Apothecary, though, I do want to say something. Give him Crit Rate Gloves because he can crit on his A2 and get a big heal. Reliquary Tender, MVP. She's wonderful and amazing. Just get her over, you know, like 200 speed. Give her high resistance if you can. I have her in a bolster set. Okay. You don't have to, but just something to consider. Have her on Miracle Heal. That really doesn't matter. Just seemed appropriate. And again, no masteries. Okay. All right. If anybody has any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Otherwise, I love you. God bless and goodbye.